You've seen me before. He's a football phenomenon. He's in the NFL office. You heard about my game. Bunchy Young. Bunchy Young. But you never see what goes on behind the scenes. Until now. I'm Bunchy Young, and this is Bunchy. So today I got practice with my new team. But before we go, I want to try something. Hey dad, let me see the truck here. For what? I'm trying to pull the truck. Pull the truck where? Down the street. You trying to pull the truck? Yes, I'm trying to pull the truck. you just woke up this morning and felt you wanted to do something crazy? I guess, let's pull the truck, come on. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. You think your boy can pull the truck down the street? All right, man, y'all ready? Yeah. Let's go. go, let's get it. All right, let's, let's, get let's go. It. Let's get it. Go. Hey, man, you think you hot just because you're on YouTube, huh, YouTube boy? Hey, man, everybody knows about your speed. Well, I want to see if you're oh. going to do it, brother. Come on, man. Oh. Oh. Come on, man. Oh. Okay, so pulling this truck might be harder than I thought. Man, Dad, you got your foot on the brake or something? Oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> really? <laughs> my bad, brother. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> My dad thinks he's so funny. Come on, come on, man. Let's get it now. Uh, Let's get uh, it now. Go. Come on, man. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Come on, man. Pull it. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Boy, you did that thing, baby. Come on, come on, man. Let's go, let's go to practice. All right, let's all go, right. Let's go. Good job. You remember Coach Frog, right? Yeah, I remember Coach Frog. So I know Coach Frog from way back in the day. He was a trainer for stars. We did a video on him. So yeah, he wanted me to get on his team ever since. Well, Coach Frog is coaching the team. They probably the eat it team in yeah. their league. Uh -huh. Isn't their team like good development and they got good coaches over there? Yeah, Frog is a hype man. He just just the energy, 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 energy. Oh yeah, Frog my dude, he always giving good energy, giving good vibes and pumping up the team. He be getting us ready. And he can help me get to that next level. You know, he coach all those NFL players and everything. So, I mean, the man doing something right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Man, it's gonna take us about an hour and 45 minutes to get here, man. So this team plays out in Montebello, which is almost two hours from my house. I mean, you the best. So, I mean, you gotta, you gotta be around the best and that's just what it is, man. You know, it's gonna be hard, but you gotta sacrifice to be the best. If it's in Montebello, that's where we going, yeah. Montebello. Yeah. It's gonna be crazy to get back out there. <laughs> Yeah, 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 everybody's got to work. Everybody's got to work. Ready, go. So we're doing this drill called Get Out the Club. Help him, help him, grab him, grab him, grab him, grab him. There you go, he's out. Big dogs, We're going to be going against Lyman. I can't believe they got a drill with me going against Lyman. Have you seen these kids? Come on now, man. Oh, yeah, let's, let's go. Circle it up, you can help. Ready, go! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah! Leverage! 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 Help him! Help him! Help him! He's on it! I like that! How I lose? How I lose? How I lose? How I lose? Man, what is this game, man? I thought I won. Can y'all believe this? We gotta stop doing this. The moment I do this, what, just, what did my shoulder just do? It turned. Where am I running? Where is the goal? Over there, is the end zone this way? We front foot jab, we break hands, and my hand comes under so that I keep my eyes to the prize. Man, this is crazy. I've never been to a football team like this. They taught me a lot of stuff, like coverages and stuff like that. Like, this team is really organized. They real cool. I can't wait for the first game. doing a podcast over at Flores Media, the host of my dad's friend, Marv. So we finna get into it. Yo, hold up. Did y'all see that fit? Wait, run it back, run it back. And y'all thought all I did was play football. I didn't know they still sold Michael Jackson jacket. My hair wasn't feeling right, but lucky my guy, Marv, got me. 
he crossed between Michael Jackson and the Prince. He got the Michael Jackson jacket on and the Prince shades on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mars been cutting my hair for years. He's my dad's good friend, and also he hosts the podcast. And you think I really think we're gonna make it to the Super Bowl? First of all, my team, the Rams. It's gonna be the Rams, the Patriots. I think the 49ers. I don't, you know, they they looked extremely good this year. And you know why I'm gonna agree with you on that? Why? I don't know shit about sports. <laughs> Let us know in the comments what y'all think. Who gonna win the Super Bowl? Got my hair and fit looking right. Now it's time to head to the studio. All right, welcome back. Right now we're doing the sports section and we call that It's Bunch Time. Hit them with it. It's Bunch Time. With Bunch of Young. All right, let's get down to Bunch Time. What, what are the picks as you guys see them for next week? Thursday night. Redskins at the Vikings. Oh, the Vikings. Vikings. The Vikings. The Redskins. No brainer. What you say? The Redskins. Okay, moving on. What's the next game? It's Seahawks and, and the Falcons. Seahawks. 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 Green Bay at Kansas City. Kansas Green City. Green Bay. Well, of course you're going to go Green Bay, yeah. Mark, because you believe in their running back, and their running back had money. And, and, the, Green Bay and the discount Mahomes, double Mahomes check. Mahomes is hurt, so you really going to stay with Kansas City? Mahomes yes. is hurt. Yes. Now, gentlemen, that's the end of Bunch Time, and uh, we had a good time, and yep. thank you all for tuning in to the Mad yep. Marv Comedy Lounge. It was cool being on the podcast. I don't know if I agree with some of their picks, but I had a really good time. What's going on, little bro? Y'all know I love the gym. I got a quick session with my boy Kwame. You know, we about to do some speed work, work the ladder, uh -huh. fire our burst. So let's get it. Today we're going to get a little speed work. My favorite. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Quick hands, quick hands, quick hands, quick feet. Get in there, get in there. Good job. How you feeling? Yeah, that's hard. Yeah. This bungee workout is to create separation, you know, build your speed up, and your strength in your legs. Let's make this one good. Down. Tight. Come on. Come on. Bro, them straps was so tough. I feel like I'm running in slow motion. Let's go. Whew. That's nice. Now that's how y'all do it. Check it out. What's up, Dad? What's up, brother? What's up? Y'all having fun? Yep, I see you getting in there, sir. Yeah, got Big to. Biceps and all. Got to. I know, got to, sir. You want to be like me, don't you? No, you want to be like me. <laughs> Get out of here. All right, see you later. Oh, all right, man, do what you do. Bust off some uh, pull-ups. You know, you can't use waist yet. Yeah. You know, you're still young. People are telling me that I can't lift yet. In a couple years, y'all going to see. Watch. All right, bro. All right. Stay up. Come on, man. Let me, let me teach y'all how to throw a football. Like, for real. Like, you trip it. So you do it like that. And then when you throw it, you just go throw it, okay? <laughs> hey, man, what are you guys doing? Let's go, man. We got to get to practice, dude. Oh, okay. Come on, man. Come on, dude. Hey, Dad, I don't think we're going to make it today. We would have made it if you weren't outside with Stuffy sitting around here playing with the football, man. Are you serious? Whoa. Hey, but you know what though? It, it'll be fine. So y'all, we in the car, we driving to practice, and boom, we hit traffic. So dad, are we there yet? Bruh, this is LA. Patience, patience. That's gonna be your album cover, the way you looking right now. My dad keeps saying we gonna be fine. I don't think we gonna be fine. I'm looking at the map right here, and it ain't like, it ain't adding up, dad. Come on, man, be realistic. It's getting later and later now. Yeah, so are we there yet, man? Gosh. We ain't bumping the bumper now. I don't think we're gonna make it. If we doing this, you gotta do your homework. First, when I get up, I wake up at 6.30. Then, I go to school, then I get out at four o'clock. And then, I gotta get dressed and go to practice, which is two hours. Two hours to drive to practice. Then I have to come home and do my homework. So man, when am I gonna have time to sleep? I mean, what do you wanna do? This is gonna be every day. We gotta do this every day. Well, well I don't know, I don't, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Do you wanna make this drive every day? Not really, man. Let me, hold on, man. I gotta make a call, man. What's he pulling over for? Hey, Big Frog. Hey, how you doing? Hey, brother, you know what, man? I, I, I don't know how we gonna do this, man, because you know. Man, I don't know what he doing right now. Is he calling coach or something? I don't think we're gonna make it today, man. Is he pulling me off the team? 
last week, getting to practice was so rough. So me, my dad, and Coach Frog kind of talked it over, and we decided it wasn't the best solution for this season. I love Coach Frog. I love what they're doing up there, but I got to do what's best for me. Bunch, come on. Mm -hmm. Come on, get up, man, so we can pray. Come on, come on, stuff. Come on. Well, Father God, we want to thank you for waking us up this morning, just giving us another day to give you the glory. We thank you for all that you do for us, Father God, and just protect us. In your precious name we pray, amen. Amen. Come on, man, uh, uh, get dressed so we can get on out of here. All right. Oh, what's up, guys? I'm finna go on my way to school. I got homeroom first, then I got PE. It's finna be a good day. Y'all just check it out. I told my friends that y'all were coming, but I didn't tell my teachers, so it's gonna be crazy. Deer, which is drop everything and read African American history. Time for PE. Today we playing football, but I have to sit out. Dad's orders. I, I think I strained something or something. Sometimes I don't participate in PE. I gotta save my body for the field. If I need to help my team out, I'm gonna help my team out. So Miss Scrubs gave me the option. I can ref or I can coach. Uh, coach. Okay, so you are a linebacker. You are a corner. You right here. You right here. Now run. It's time for my coaching debut. What's up, Sean McFay? My team's first on the board. More touchdowns to come. When they call by Missy, I need you, 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 the rest. Go, go, go! Man, these kids don't know how to play football. I got my work cut out for me. That's half time. You guys have two minutes. My team up here. Hey, everybody up here. Get over there. Yellow flag. Don't screw this up, Damian. Go, go it. No. Just sit back and watch this. I'm going in. Our team needs me, man. We need to score. Get me! Oh my God! You're wide open. Say go, go, go. Philip, go, 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 go! That's a first down. That's a first. Down. How was that game? Why? Time's up. I gave a ten minute game. Ten minute half. Wow. Man, I'm tired of taking all these L's. Luckily, my dad says he found a new team. And it sounds promising. Who are you on our way to? Remember, you was looking up those teams. What was it, Downey Razorbacks and, and yeah, and the and Norwalk Saints. I think I called on Norwalk Saints and everything, and I don't think they 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 answered. But Downey Razorbacks, I got the president. My dad found a team that's a little bit closer to home, the Razorbacks. I sent him your picture, and he was like, "Oh yeah, we know about this kid. We we heard about this oh, kid and everything." So what he said, let me have the coach call you. And uh, coach called me and was like, you guys thinking about coming over and everything? I said, well, how's your line? He said, well, you know, we got a real big line. Are they just big and slow or are they just? I don't know. He just said they real huge. You know, Hopefully we're going to go out there and check them out and see what it is. It's in Downey, so it's a little it's bit not, closer. Yeah, it's a little bit closer. But, you know, man, just had, you know, just have, have fun. fun. The development might not be as good as Frogs, but it's for it to you. So it kind of balances out. I like a little challenge. We just go, do what we do, baby. All right. Do what we do, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to show everyone what I got. What I'm most excited about practice is being with new players and meeting the new coaches and just having fun and playing football. I think I'm probably going to have a lot of picks because we found out this team throws a lot and I'm, I'm going to definitely get in the end zone sometimes. So I want to work on our, our jumble offense, our gun offense, and then a tad bit on the spread. And then we have to go back to special teams to receiving and, and kickoff because that's going to happen on Saturday. But these kids don't know how to win. Uh, majority of my kids uh, that came from the 12U team last year uh, didn't win a game. They were winless. So they haven't won a game in over a year? Bro! We have to be efficient to beat the teams that are more talented than us. And that's going to be every single team we play this year. Every time we play, you're not going to be the biggest. You're not going to be the fastest. 
You guys are slow and you guys are short and you guys are not talented. But you know how we're gonna win? We're gonna win with heart and with our minds. I don't know what Coach Mondo talking about. Just give me the ball. I know what I'm doing. My big guys are averaging, what, 5'10", 5'11". These kids are pretty big. It's gonna be hard to see Bunchy as a backer, right? Where's he at? Well, there he is, too late to catch him. I'm ready to get busy. Use our minds, use our minds. Let's go uh, gun left, power left. Quarterback seals, check Tuesday, check Tuesday, check Tuesday, check Tuesday. Good, good catch, Brandon, good catch. Bunchy, you and Tovar, you guys run, you guys run the crisscross action, okay? Right. Direct snap to the fullback, be good actors, okay? Right. They're gonna be flying to you, they're gonna be flying to you. you can, Brandon's gonna give you a fake, you give him a fake. By the time they talk to you, my man's gonna be in the end zone, the band's gonna be playing. Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. Man, these trick plays is fun. I can't wait to try it out in the game. Each play on Saturday is pretend that you're a senior in high school and you're playing your last game ever. I want three yards, that's all I asked for. Give me three yards. This was three times four? Twelve. Twelve. And how many yards did you get a first down? Ten times. We'll get a first down every single time. Three clap, raise your back. Ready? Raise your back! Man, we just finished practice. I'm ready for game day, man. So it's the first game of the year, and I'm hyped. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, what you doing? What you... I'm trying to cook you breakfast, man. My dad always makes me a big game day breakfast, but this time, I felt like switching it up. You want to cook your breakfast for me? Let me cook you breakfast. Thank you don't want to cook, man. Yes, I do, you. man. So I've dabbled in cooking a little bit. How hard can it be? You need to get your pads and get ready. No, dude. I'm trying to cook you breakfast. Get out, now. All right, brother, get all out. right. Leave. All right. It's the Chef Bunchy Show, y'all tune in. Crush it, strong man. How many eggs do I need to crack, sir? How many eggs you want? I'm cooking for all of us. With four eggs? Okay. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Seriously, Chef Bunchy. Half of those and strip them in the pan, brother. Just a good idea. You might want to turn the stove on, brother. Check it out, bruh. Chef Bunch. I told you. Hey, man, this look pretty good, dude. Yeah, I know. Good job, man. Thank you. Come on, man, let's pray. Father God, thank you for this food we're about to receive. In the Lord Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. You think the line gonna block today? Yeah. You big old boys. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, but they ain't big, but slow though. How many touchdowns do you think you gonna get? I got four. I think I'm gonna call it four. If the quarterback can make that toss to the wide side, we'll be out. Yeah. Down with the grub? Let's get this dub. Let's go get this W, baby. Man, it's been a while, but I'm excited to get back out there and do what I do. Get there, AJ, Brandon, let's see. Get there, up there, Jonathan. AJ. AJ. Get your guy. Man, the first quarter was terrible. We got some things to go over. Maybe Taco hit the guys. We're hitting the guys harder with there. We're just not tackling, right? You missed the tackle, and what happened? Get 30 yards off of that? Come on. Oh, stay inside. All right, hey, hey, you guys, listen up, listen up. They're coming straight up and they're taking the edge away. They're probably afraid of Bungie's feet to the outside. Brandon, let's go four yards now to slow down that rush. And Bungie, remember, we're taking off now when the ball's in the air between the quarterback and the center. As soon as that ball's in the air, you're taking off. Coach gave me a little talk. We're only down by 14. We can get back in this. There you go, Bunch. There you go, Bunch. Lower your pad level. So the second half, we started to get going. I made a couple people miss, my own line started blocking better. All we gotta do is stay focused, keep running, and we got it. But that didn't last long.
Oh wow, right? Oh wow, we're down on one. You know, the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Let's go get it up here, let's go get it up. Hey, Take make us sure home. Watch film, bro. This game was kind of rough. It was an our conference game. I had a couple of big runs, but you know, tomorrow's a new day. Man, we all upset about the loss. To be honest, I don't think I ever lost that bad. So Saturday is not what we want it to be. It's still a long season to go, okay? So we can't uh, dwell on it. If you're sad about it, let it be over. So we just have to get ready, get better, let's get better. On Saturday, we ran gun. Their ends were flying up really hard. We really had to take it up the middle and, and Bunchy did a great job of, of doing that when we had the time. Our spread, we're gonna add more of a running play now. And we're gonna be more of a zone blocking team when we run zone and uh, we're gonna run the, the, the read option. It sounds like we switched something to a game plan. Anything has to be better than what we did last week. Come on, AJ. 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 Come on, AJ
Man, 13. Yep. Hey, boy! <laughs> So it's the big day, game day, baby. We're gonna bounce back from last week and get that dub. I can feel it. Ooh, rough start. At least I saved a touchdown. All right, my turn. Give me the rock. Okay, let's go, baby. That was nice. <sighs> Bro, these kids are twice my size. It's hard to bring them down. It's Hail Mary time, literally. And just like that, now we're down 21 nothing. Take a deep breath, everybody relax. We're a smart team. Nobody's here Superman, but if you take care of your own, then we're gonna be okay. Keep your heads up, we're gonna keep on banging to the last whistle blows. This is gonna be a long day. What's the guy gotta do to get some blocking out here? Should have had that touchdown. Bro, that was rough. Bunche, come on, man. Let's get this thing cracking, man. <laughs> I always want to do that. Y'all know I got to keep this look right. It's time for a touch-up. Pay attention. So put the conditioner in. Uh-huh. Put powder in. Then you put in your activator. Got to get it all out. Can't you smell it? Ooh, you are now yeah. entering That is Beauty Salon. Remember the first time we did this, man? Yeah, that was crazy. You were six years old. My favorite color that we ever did was probably pink. Remember the time the dude came on to me and was like, uh, hey man, uh, you coloring his hair, they really not gonna take him serious and, and everything. But you know what, people have views they like that. They did look at but him look at, that. look at us now though. You can't worry about what people think about you. It doesn't matter. Matter of fact, it helped you because you was unique. Now we gotta wait. Down, man. I, I don't, I ain't feeling it, man. And now we're back at this. Mondo got a kind heart, man, because you know he, he's he's doing this and he's giving his time and everything. But they got over their heads, man. So what are we supposed to do? We just left the team. I understand that, but see, we're not playing football just to be playing football. It's about development. Oh wait, wait, okay, back up, back up. You just said it's about development, but we went right. to a team that doesn't have any development. I thought it may have a little bit of development, but that just playing football just to be playing football, nah, I ain't with that. But those are my teammates and my dudes, though. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm glad you made friends. But uh, no, man, I mean, you, you know, you got to think about something, man. Those kids that you're playing against really supposed to be in high school. Yeah. But they just playing for a team. Now, you did do your thing and everything, but these are high school kids you're playing against. I'm not going to do it, man. The game's this Saturday. They're not going to have a running back without me. Oh, well, come Saturday, I'm you gonna be, be on that field. No, you're not. You gotta understand the risk involved. You go out there this Saturday, man. You break your leg, you break your ankle. This is football, man. Things happen. Then you're not going into high school at 100%. I think you need to quit. Ultimately, it's your decision. So what do you want to do? I think you're right. So the number one free agent, back on the market. So you know what? My dude, the rail, man, he, he got an indoor facility in it. And it's in, uh, yeah, it's in Burbank. Muscle Farms, man. So gonna go on out there and practice with him, man. You know, he worked with overtime and he worked with a lot of NFL players. Like and so who? He worked with Ty Gurley. Are you serious? He worked yeah. with TG? This dude worked with TG, man? I'm hyped. You know, and a lot of NFL players he worked with, man. Wow. So if you're working out with an NFL player, you're doing something right. So 
since we ain't playing no football, man, we, you know, we got to stay yeah, in shape stay and everything. Shape, yeah. So that's what it is, man. All that's right. where we going. Until we find a team, brother. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the road to the top. Yep. What's going on, my man? How we doing? How, how's everything going? Good. I told you I was gonna bring him to you. I appreciate it, man. Like you ready to get after it? Yeah. Uh -huh. You ready to train like the pros train? Yep. All right, let's get after it then. Stop playing. All right. All right, let's rock and roll. This particular exercise gets you into your position, forces you to stay in your position. All right. So you're gonna start with one leg up. When I say go, you're gonna snap. All right. All right. Snap. All right. Go as fast as you can. Keep your chest onto the pad. All right. So this leg straight. This leg up. And go. Come on, faster. Go. 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 Go, go, go. And relax, I wanna to try to replicate that same position, but create a consistent flow of that. So start here, back leg here. So when you go, drive out, big long step, just like on the machine. So here, push one, two, three, four. Be violent, be violent, attack the ground. Drive out, push, push, good. Another thing, when you run, you want this relationship, knee, calf, and hamstring. So pull your heel through. It helps your legs cycle faster. Man, it's some next level stuff. And call me master of faster now. <laughs> so, I'm gonna get you fast. Remember when I was telling you to attack the ground? The only way to get this to move is by pushing and attacking the ground, okay? Here we go, ready? Three, two, and go. Push, push, there we go. Get toes up, toes up. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Five, four, three, Two, let's go, come on, knees up. Let's go, dig, dig, dig. There we go, knees up, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And relax. All right, good job. That's where the money's made. After you work out, it's recovering and taking care of your body. So we're gonna take you through a couple of recovery techniques because that helps your muscles regenerate, recover, and it helps you build strong muscles. All right, so top five receivers in the NFL. Uh, number one, Tyreek Hill. Okay. Number two, I say D Hop. D Hop, okay. Number three. You buy us a Tyreek Hill, by the way, because y'all both short, but okay, keep going. Oh, okay. Number three, I'm Thielen. Oh my gosh. Okay. Number four, Odell. Odell. Okay. Number five, Julio Adams. I respect your list. I don't understand Adam Thielen at all, though. <laughs> Stefan Diggs is better. No. Adam Thielen is, to me, is the most underrated receiver in the league. AJ Green. Oh, no, no, oh my no. God, AJ Green, what are you talking about? Man, he's showing no love for my guy Adam Thielen, but his workout was no joke. Thank you for bringing me yeah, in. It was a pleasure, man, yeah. I really enjoyed yeah. it. Bunch, yeah. good job, my man. Thank Can't you. wait to see you again. Uh -huh. yeah. All right, next time we're gonna race. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> I got you. Now who you got in the race, me or Darrell? So it's Saturday morning, I got nothing going on, and I try to got some breakfast when... What do you think you're doing, dude? I'm getting some cereal. We gotta go work out, dude. We just went to Muscle Farm yesterday. Come on, man, we gotta go and we gotta go right now, man. Where are we even going? You'll see, buddy. Come on, let's go. I thought this was my day off. <laughs> This will separate the men from the boys, man, and this is what you gotta do, because we have no team. What are we even doing today? You will see. Man, what is this? We went to Muscle Farm, we did agility, and we did quickness, man, but now we gotta do some strength work. My dad knows I don't like heights. Go ahead, grab those weights, and let's get it. Let's go dig this thing out, and let's go. Hit! Get him up, get him up, get him up, get him up. Get him up, get him up. So I started climbing up the hill, but bro, it is so hard. Don't break stride. Do not break stride. Get him up, get him up. Put your hands up, all the way up. Let's go. Dig all the way up. Let's go. Hit it. Dig all the way up. Get him up. Elbows in. Elbows in. Elbows in. Dig all the way up. It may not look it, but this hill is tall. Dig all the way up. All the way up. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Did I mention I'm terrified of heights? I'm afraid of falling. Even if I do fall down here, it won't hurt, right? So whose idea was it to put all this sand out here? Man, whoever built this, man, they crazy. What are they doing? Look at this thing. Me and my dad hate heights. Like, if we ever have to get up from the building, me and him is not going. We are, 
No. So I don't know why he brought me out here. This man crazy. Man, why you come down so slow, man? Man, because you know I'm afraid of heights. I had a feeling. It was real tough. They got my legs going, yeah, that was a really good workout. Man, I'm beat from all these workouts. Besides, I got places to be. Here we go again, brother. Man, I'm just really, really frustrated. All I want to do is just play. I've been on two teams already. Like, this is crazy. I understand that, but you got to understand something. You bunch of young, man. And nobody said this road was going to be easy. You're going to have your downs. You're going to have your ups. You're going to have your lows. You All of that, man. But you got to stay in the fight. You have a lot working against you. So you got to get used to that, man. That's just what this is. You've been reading the comments, man. Yeah, man, I've been reading the comments. <laughs> So you can't worry about that. We just gotta keep on this road, man, and keep going, keep striving, keep moving forward. Right. Only the strong survive, and that's just what it is. Right. So we gotta keep going. Right. And I know you're frustrated, and I know you wanna take out a whole lot of stuff and everything, so you know what? I got something where you can release some stuff. The tiger, the tiger. What, what, is, what is it? Release. Okay, you're scaring me now, what is it? You'll see. Man, I think you really gonna like this boy. Uh -huh. Yep, 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 yep. What's up, man? How you doing? Hey, welcome to Rage Ground. You guys ready to rage? This place is called Rage Ground. You show up and let you break whatever you want. We come here to relieve some stress, stress, anger, all that good stuff. Uh, are you both going to be breaking stuff or just one of you? He is gonna be breaking some stuff, not me. Okay, cool. So you can start by signing out this waiver. You're gonna to have to fill out the uh, under 18 card form. Okay. And uh, once you get that signed up, we'll get him suited up and ready to rage. You ready to rage? Yeah, I'm ready is to rage. Is you ready to rage? Yes, I'm ready to rage. Do you got some rage in you? Yes, I got some rage in you. Let's <laughs> All go. All right, well, let's go then. Man, this is just what I needed. I'm about to go crazy in there. I think I'm gonna go for the mirror first. Go. Now let me show y'all my three-step drop. I've never done anything like this before. Here's a little ultimate frisbee for you. Where my bad at? All right, this one are going down. So how you feel, man? I feel good, man. I feel good. You got it in? Yeah, I got all my frustrations <laughs> out. You like it? Uh-huh. All right. Well, I guess you're going to feel better now, man, because we got a new team, brother. Are you ready for this? Yeah. You sure you're ready for this? Uh-huh. Uncle B. Eugene Henley. Big Hugh's a friend of my dad, and I've been knowing him since I was six. And he hit me up and he was like, what y'all doing, man? I heard that y'all had no team and everything. And I was like, well, how'd you know that? But yeah, he was like, well, man, you know, we got our last game, man. And we need nephew. So I was like, hey, man, we ain't playing. So we might as well go on over there and get it in. He heard that I have a team. So he called my dad up and he said he's going to put me in. So it's the last game of the year and we're not going to be here to practice. But you know what, man? You know what? You in shape. Just get out there and do your thing, man, and just have fun, man. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? It's going to be live, man, being back over at Crenshaw again, man. It may not be a full season, but I'm hyped. Since we're not practicing for the game this weekend, me and my guys want to get a little work in. All right, so I'm going to introduce y'all to the man, the guru, receiver, trainer, and just the best in the business. He didn't did it all, man. Huh? <laughs> Man, Framp is my dude. He played football in college, and I've been knowing him since I was six. Yeah, what football? college are you? USC, that's college. Oregon, right for right now, Oregon. Oh, stop. Hey, Clemson. 
Bandwagon? That's bandwagon. They go to national championship every year. What? I'm going to UCLA. Right. Okay, why? The, oh, the 49ers and the Rams. I'm a 49ers fan and the Rams. I'm gonna be so happy when Boy Johnson. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I like the Rams because I'm from LA, but I like the Niners because. I just need another team. Right, fun. Yes, sir. For real, let's go. All right, let's go. Can we do a few releases with y'all? Well, I want to see y'all hands and feet, making sure that y'all using y'all feet and hips first. He's going to try to shake you off the line of scrimmage. All you're doing is just staying in front of him. Good, good. The way to be there. All right. Now, Bunch, you at wide out. Shake him a little bit, then we work the other side. Fram's always helping me with the small details. This is how y'all going to warm up when y'all get to high school and college and the league. Trust me. There you go, simple, simple. Just, you know what I mean? I just want to see some technique, that's all. So after we did releases, Frank had me do this comeback drill. We'll have to run at the ball to catch it. Running at me full speed, ain't no slowing down. Let's go. <laughs> Don't stop, Bunch. Run through it. Ain't no running from the ball. Ain't no nothing. You got to catch it. Anytime they have a coral route or anything of that nature, they have to attack the ball because the defensive back or whoever is covering them will try to come and Deflect it. It's hard though, because I'm, I'm putting some heat on it. Let's go. Come on, little boy. Mm. Oh. Excellent, Bunch. Go down there. Stay right there. Face around. When I say ball, just turn around like your punt return. Oh, okay. All right, don't cheat me. Ball. Excellent. Oh my God, that's scary. Uh huh. Ball. Good. Good. Go, Bunch. One oh. more. When I say ball, just break down. Go get him. Turn around. Let's go. Don't cheat me. All right, I'm gonna make this one a little more difficult. Okay. He's definitely up to something here. Ball. Go get him. Hurry up. Hurry up. Get to him. Get to him. Oh. <laughs> there you go. You gotta make a move. You gotta get going. That's how it is. <laughs> what? Man, I love coming out here. We've been training like this for years. It's crazy to think we're so close to high school. So listen, what are y'all most nervous about for high school? I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm most nervous about is like being new to the scheme, like actually just having a good high school career. That's I gotta keep my grades straight so I can get to college. Facts. Yeah. That's facts. You gotta Shut worry up. about the books first before you get on the field. That's facts. All right, y'all. So we got some good work in today. Let's dip. All right, come on. Let's go. What up, Dad? What up, Brody Mac? What you been up to, brother? Up. It's that time again, man. We got to do these things with these mouthpieces. I know you don't like it, but we got to do what we got to do. Did you my get brother. two like I actually did? Yeah, why'd you want me to get two, though? Because you always making fun of me about boiling mouthpieces. You finna suck with me, watch. My dad know I hate boiling the mouthpieces. We do this every year, but this year, I got a plan. Is that why you had me get two yes, mouthpieces? Yes, that is why I had you get two. Oh. <laughs> Goodness, go boil the water, man. All right, all right, let's get this over with. All right, man, so it said we got to boil this thing for 40 seconds. Right. And you going to bite, and, and I'm going to bite. I don't know, man. Biting down on that hot mouthpiece, it feels like forever. We got to put these things in our mouth for 10 seconds, man. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do what you gotta do. Look at mine though, man. Look at mine. You know I'm not gonna use this at a football game. Yes, you are. Okay, you just waste my money. I want my money back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> got a new mouthpiece. Got some reps in with the boys. I think you're ready. It's game day, baby. Let's get it. All right, man. It's finally that time. I just hope I can help the team out and do what I do best. Not gonna lie. I'm a little nervous since I didn't practice. Not a bad start. We're going diamond formation, red motion, toss up. Toss right! Toss right, toss right! Okay, a little early miscommunication. Coach said toss right, QB toss left. I tried to make a play. See, they going everywhere Bunchy go. No matter where Bunchy go, they going where Bunchy go. 
Being famous definitely has its perks, can't lie. But when the other team finds out they're playing you, everyone's looking for you. Your boy can do more than just run fast. Go get it, Xavier! The score is still 0 0. Time to take a shot. Offense. At least our defense has stepped up big today. First half just ended. It's 0-0. Zero, zero. So, hey, we're going to have fun, and we're just going to keep doing what we got to do. It's football, y'all. All right, time for the second half. The dude might be bigger than me, but he's not getting past me. Defense has stepped up all game. Hey, last play. This last play. The score is still 0 0, and the time is running out. We're going at the quarterback to force him to throw the ball up. Go line him on the ball. Let's see what we got. We held him up till now, and they got one more play. Let's send this in the OT, baby. Interception. Oh. Quincy! Oof. That was a little too close, but we saved the TD. Man, all of that, just to give it up on the first play of overtime. I'm not gonna lie, losing this whole season has not been fun. So man, how you feeling, man? I mean... I'm tired of this losing, I'm tired of losing. I mean, you gotta take the good with the bad, baby. I mean, you know, it was fun though. One thing, it was fun, man. So, you, you know, you just gotta take the good with the bad, man. But guess what, though? What? You ready? Mm-hmm. Is you ready? Yeah. So, the NFL Network hit me up. Guess what? Okay. They want you to be in their Super Bowl 54 commercial. How about that, brother? Are you serious? Bro, the Super Bowl? Where's it gonna be at? So, uh, we gonna be traveling in different cities, man. Super Bowl is gonna be in Miami and everything, but we gonna be traveling in different cities, man. How did my dad swing this? But it's gonna end up that you running the ball onto the field live at Super Bowl, giving the Are rep the ball. Are you serious? Yes. At the game? Yes, at the game. Miami? Wow. Live. I don't know who wrote it and everything, but this one going to be huge. Wow. And one thing, you can't tell anybody about this until after Super Bowl. So we got to stay quiet, man. And Stuffy, you can't say nothing either. All right. It's going to be live. We're going to have fun. Mm. Yeah. Welcome to Miami. Man, I can't believe I'm actually here. So first, we got the kitchen right here. We got my dad, we got my cousin Chris. We got the shoe line up. We got like this little area. I don't know what to call it, it's just an area. It's a nice little setup. We got this mystery door. We don't know what it is. Don't even open. Don't work, we just mystery door. We don't know what that is. We got the balcony. Man, the flight was good. I slept like a baby on a flight. I slept the, almost the whole way. Don't listen to him, please. Yeah, I watched a couple movies. Nobody asked you. When my heart be racing, I feel like I'm finna die. Planes are crazy. No shade to LA, but Florida is better. I'm gonna chime in on this one. I, I, I do love Miami. It, it is nice though. But anytime you can sweat and rain, it's so <laughs> wrong with that picture. I guess you got a point. I love Miami. Uh, no. This is probably your first time ever being here. I think you're right. Exactly. I am right. <laughs> Talking about, I love my, he act like he been here before. This guy. So we got rehearsal tomorrow. They haven't told me what we're doing. The NFL don't want their secret to get out because if it get out, they gonna know what I'm doing and it's like real secretive about stuff. It's like, I'm not probably gonna be nervous. I'm just probably gonna be like shocked. I've been on the NFL field, but I never like ran on it. I never like hyped up the crowd. I never did none of that. And I'm probably gonna be loud, real, real loud. I'm gonna be a hype man on Sunday. Time for rehearsal. Let's get it. We're gonna cue Bungie to run out onto the field with the ball. Bungie's gonna go straight to the center of the field where the referee and the umpire are waiting for him to receive the game ball. So basically, 
I'm gonna be running ahead of the group, they're gonna follow me, and I'm gonna give the ball to the ref. They told me I'd be on the field, but this is crazy. We're gonna have a chance to run through about three times on the field. That means that after we go on the field once, we're gonna roll through it again and another time. Only 32 you get to do this, so make it count. to start getting the crowd into it. We really need the crowd to cheer. Sometimes it can take the crowd a little time to like figure out where things are on a football field. There's a lot going on. So it's up to me to get the crowd going? I got this. So Max will tell you exactly where you should start change from running to getting people hyped up. These kids behind you are all gonna uh, take their cues from what you do. These kids are gonna be following my lead while the world is watching? Dang. I feel like I'm running the football like they be walking through the tunnels, like they be walking through the tunnel, you're ready for the game, they be hyping each other, like, yeah, let's do this. Yes, sir. So I got to the end of the tunnel, and I can finally see the field. Man, they're playing my commercial on the big screen. Bro, this is insane. Watch it, get on your mark. Oops, I almost forgot I had a job to do. You see the center, the 50-yard line? Uh -huh. You're going to head B-line there. I'm going to start you there. You're going to get a cue. Okay? I want you to come out with the ball in the right hand. The ref will be out there, right? And then right about in here, knowledge all around you. All around you. Man, finally getting out on that field was wild. There's not even people in the stands yet, but this field is big. By this point, those other kids are going to be coming out behind you. So when I get... Like right here, I go like, I go like. Then you start to acknowledge, get big, get them up. Because at this point, those kids are going to be coming behind you to help you. The intensity is building up, man. Let's run through this. Man, I'm definitely used to the cameras at this point. But this is crazy. So they're gonna play my commercial on the big screen, and when everyone sees Miss McCaskey give me the ball, I'll run out with it live. That was crazy. <laughs> I just saw myself in a commercial on a big screen in the NFL. So crazy. Like it's so nerve wracking. Like I'm just trembling. It was trembling. My hands began sweaty. I wish I could see it, but my hands are sweaty, sweaty right now. I'm not sure you guys understand how sweaty my hands are. Like, I'm a little worried I might drop the ball. If the ball falls out, what do you do? Don't stop. If you fall down, what are you going to do? Yeah. And do what? Awesome. Are you going to help somebody else if they fall down near you? Yeah. Yes. Awesome. And just like that, rehearsal's over. All demo rehearsal, we got some free time. Me and my dad are gonna check out the beach. How does it feel out here doing all this? It feels great, it's a blessing, it's a big experience. But running out on the field is crazy. A lot of kids don't get to do this. And it's like, it makes me wanna like experience the NFL for itself. Being in a stadium, feeling like a real NFL player, got me so hyped. It makes you wanna work even harder to get there. Hey man, when that day comes, bro. oh my. Oh, when I get drafted? Oh, my goodness, man. Hey, what team do they go draft you? I either want to go to the LA Rams, the, the Raiders are cool, and the Miami Dolphins, because I'm going to live in Miami. Miami first. Oh, yeah, that's love. I, I, I can come down here. Turn it up, baby! I know I got ways to go before draft day, but I love thinking about it. I'd be so hyped to come back to Miami. So, yeah, so what's, what's the goal for next year? A goal for next year? It's to be the best slot receiver slash running back in the country. I know, but we've been like on a two-year high. Age, exactly. So. Yeah, man. This last season, I didn't really play as much as I wanted. Got to start really thinking about what I want to do before high school. So we got the NFL experience. 
Uh, Loki, I don't even know what they got up in there, but we finna figure it out. About to have some fun here in Miami. So the NFL told me if I go to the experience, I gotta keep a low profile. A hat and shade should do. Dad, take a picture. <laughs> So we going to try to see if I got accuracy in throwing the balls in the nets. You think I can get it? We're going to see, bro. I'm going to test out my QB skills. I'm going to try like one like gunning it. I'm going to try one lofting it. I'm going to try another just throwing it regular. You think I got this? <laughs> oh! You didn't step into the throw or nothing. You just, you just lofted it. But it's rigged, it's rigged. Something wrong with that ball, it's rigged. It's rigged. Maybe I stick to running and catching. You guys think my dad can hit it? Why she not even hit it? That's broke. Trash. See how hard it is? Talking about, oh, step into your throat, brother. Trash, trash. Go get it. Oh, get it. Trash. Trash. Nah. Broke. Get off the field. I guess neither of us can throw. This is Juju's locker. That's hard. Look at this one, Dad. Look at Jamal Adams' locker. That's hard. Oh, it's Tom Brady's locker. And you know I love cleats. I love cleats. These are really game-worn cleats. Look, you see the turf on them and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Imagine they play with that real helmet in a real live game. <laughs> a bedazzled helmet. Bro, looking at all the lockers and equipment was hard. I love the NFL experience, man. Everything I've seen this week just makes me want to make it to the league. Just got done at the NFL experience. Now we're headed back to the hotel. Uh, the Super Bowl tomorrow, it really hasn't set in yet. It's probably gonna set in when I actually like get to the field. So basically what I'm supposed to be doing, I'm supposed to wake up, get dressed, go to the Super Bowl at one o'clock. Then y'all gonna see me run on the field and y'all gonna see me get the ref the ball. It gives me like motivation actually being in the NFL. And it like gives me the experience of how NFL players like, like how they are on game day and how it feels to be on a stadium on game day. Yeah, it's like really crazy. After we're done filming, I'm gonna go up to the skybox and watch the game. Man, I am so hyped for tomorrow. It's game day, you ready to go. It's about noon. I got to head off for the Super Bowl. We in Miami, as you can see. The wind is blowing. All the cars are down there. You know, we got predominantly Chief fans here. Wow. Go Niners. Man, I am hyped for today. I'm feeling good. I'm excited. I slept good. I sleep too much and I sleep too little. I just got the perfect amount. And then, as y'all can see, I got the fits lined up for, I don't know, I don't know which the combination going to be, but this is like a little sneak peek a little bit, I don't know. I don't, I keep telling my dad, this one is better. He said this one is better, and it's not. Doesn't the brown go with this more than this? Like, doesn't that go with this more? You know your boy gotta look right. It's a Super Bowl, but I'm having a hard time trying to pick the right fit. Then I'm wearing these jeans, these. You know, we about to get it in. I'm excited for it. God just truly blessed his kid and everything. So we're gonna go have fun, baby. We're gonna go have fun. So guess what? Y'all tune in. Watch this thing. That was why you say, y'all go watch this thing. Like you said it like real weird. We out. Slow down, dude. I'm just gonna get a hat. Right. No, don't worry about it. We gotta go downstairs and pick up the tickets. But my dad keeps messing up my hair. Just on my my Come on, man. I haven't even gotten ready yet. What's up, David? So am I wearing my robe or on a bus, or am I wearing the stuff that I go? You, you can wear what you have on right now. Whatever, whatever you're gonna watch the game. All right, I got you. This guy keeps me busy. <laughs> no, I keep, keep, I keep him on his toes. <laughs> Listen, when he comes through the ticket gate, okay. you're gonna give me his ticket. Okay. And then I'm gonna bring him up to the seat. Okay, cool. So when you hand me back the envelope, you should just have his ticket in it. Gotcha.
Man, it's crazy how many things you gotta pay attention to. Which bus am I on? Who's on the bus? Who's got the tickets? Where do we scan the tickets? I guess you can't just walk into the Super Bowl. You think I should pay a prank call on the front desk? No, man. It's like, hello. <laughs> I love chopping it up with my dad. <laughs> like, listen, sir, chill. We got the tickets. We got like one more hour to chill. Now look at this ticket. That's a hard day. See, we, when you got tickets to the Super Bowl, you know they gotta be hard. I never even seen a Super Bowl ticket before. Look at this thing. Oh my goodness, Hey, we on a 300 row. Oh no, we on a 23rd row. They got the hologram on the back. Look at the hologram on the back. Bro, these tickets sweet, y'all. I got a shower, but time's running out. You got a CBS bag on you. He just told me, he literally <laughs> just told me not to wear my hair like five times. It's showbiz, baby. You gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. So now, which one? Which one? Three. Which one? One, three. I like those, but. Which one? One, Yeah, yeah, those is cool too, though. I don't know about this jacket. This jacket looks stupid. You think it looks stupid? I thought it looked sharp, Max. Well, yeah. Because of black match your shoes. This, I don't like how this looks. It's too tight. I don't know, man. This jacket just doesn't feel right. Well, you know what, y'all? <laughs> it matches. I, 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 I cut my head don't get me wrong, Russian. Don't matches, but so now, right now, I'm going to be the Band-Aid head man. It's getting late. We got to go. And my dad goes and cuts himself shaving. Oh, so you got to put more than one thing. Oh, yeah, dude, you got two little... little <laughs> the cool thing is their conversation pieces. Oh, yeah, yeah. What People you do? Say, yeah. I cut my head. Or you just said, I need a conversation piece. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting kind of boring and I need something to liven my life up. Also. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I need something to liven my life up. The Super Bowl is one thing you cannot be late to. Oh, here we go. Is Bunchy still up here with us? Yes. Okay, he said, I need to come down. Oh, yes. Do you have a room key? Yes, you guys need a key. Angle. Now we're officially late. I hope they don't leave without me. We know I'm the first one dressed. So, we all late. That's what the jacket. Jacket. We're a couple minutes late, and they freaking out. They freaking out. They packed down. They packed. They been ready. They will leave without me, right? Where's your dad? Coming down right now. Okay, we gotta go. The faster we get, the more free time we got. Whew. We made it. Time to get on the bus and do this thing. All right, that's the part I can take y'all. See you at the Super Bowl. Hey y'all, y'all know where the Super Bowl 54? Yeah, I got Noah, Zaydis, and my girl Maddie. We got Chris yeah. and my dad. Okay. Yeah, we do it. 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 We all right, y'all. It's time for my commercial to kick off the Super Bowl. So we started filming a commercial way back in December. I'm sorry I couldn't take y'all with me. It was top secret. So this was the first scene in the commercial, and we was actually in New York, and I know y'all talking about, oh, well, New York doesn't have grass. Well, it did. And it was real cold. It was like 20 degrees, and you see when I was like, <laughs> that my hands were really freezing because it was actually really cold. I'm not sure you guys realize how much work goes into this. It took weeks to film this. Man, I told y'all I was a Niner fan. Meeting Jimmy G, Joe Montana, and Steve Young at the same time, that was insane. When I went to New Orleans, it was my birthday. What kid gets to meet Drew Brees and Alvin Kamara on their birthday? That's one of the best birthdays I've ever had. It was this big Mardi Gras scene and I had to like juke around the Mardi Gras people and stuff and I pitched the ball to Alvin Kamara and I caught a pass from Drew Brees. So we went down to Arizona to film the Pat Tillman scene. Man, it was only a statue, but you can really feel the energy there. So that scene right there, we have to do that like 15 times. And the lady, she kept hitting me in the arm. She tried to punch the ball off. And it was cold too, so it was hurting me and that was cold. So it was the final scene. So it was me walking down, meeting all the Hall of Famers, meeting Miss Bukowski, meeting everybody. You might think that was in Miami, but it was actually in a newly built Charger Stadium. Man, this might have been my favorite part of the whole shoot. And I met all the legends such as Jerry Rice, Barry Sanders, 
Deion Sanders, Miss McCaskey, Mean Joe Green, Peyton Manning, Anthony Munoz, Larry Fitzgerald. Bro, I'm never gonna forget this. So here's where it cuts from the stuff we already shot to being live. I told y'all I'm a little nervous, my hands are sweaty, I can hear the crowd, and they are loud. Here goes nothing. Running out there was unreal. After rehearsal, I thought I knew what it would feel like, but bro, there is no way to prepare for that. But did you see a boy hyping up the crowd? <laughs> Bro, at this point, I'm so hyped, I almost forgot about the actual game. So, my Niners didn't win, as you probably already know. But man, I can't let that ruin my night. Being at the Super Bowl was crazy. So just like that, I'm done. That's a wrap on Miami. I feel like the NFL's been my whole life the last two months. I hope I'm able to run out there as a player one day. It's 8.30 in the morning, we head to KTLA. Oof, man, it's early. How many have you been that? About six interviews. Six interviews in two weeks? I guess everybody had to check in with your boy after the Super Bowl. This is the, the lightweight version of the NFL. You getting up, you doing press interviews, you meet with this person, you meet with this person. So now you're getting a little taste of it. These interviews have been a lot, but this one's gonna be fun. They're having me race the anchors through a crazy obstacle course. I ain't nervous. Only time I really get nervous is when I, it's actually from the start. But nervous is good. It's gonna be live TV, so uh, you got to do what you got to do, and that's what you got to do, so do it. I will. Do it. I will. Do it. I will. Do it. I will. I will. All right. It's no way I'm losing these anchors. I don't know how they're gonna start the segment. Uh -huh. If you wanna practice, you're welcome to. So basically, you gotta do the ladder. One feet in, one feet in, one feet in, one feet in. Come here, tire, tire, tire. Let me jump over this and balance me. And right here, it's not ready yet. So I pull balls, and throw it. It's kinda like the OT challenge. So listen, Larry, I'm calling you out, bro. If you see this, I'm calling you out. You can't handle me an OT challenge. Pull up, Larry. How are you? Good, how are you? The guy you're going to compete against isn't here, but you got him. Don't okay. worry about it. I'm excited to meet my competition, but first... They said that you have some eyelashes that you can put on here. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I've got the double foot like hers. Going to be pretty today. Hair and makeup's done. It's showtime. Nice come action, baby. Three, two... All right, you might remember uh, this guy from the starring role in the NFL commercial that kicked off the Super Bowl. Absolutely phenomenal. Thank All you, those thank great you. Great place to thank stand you. there with a big smile. Yeah. And then, what did it feel like when the commercial concluded oh. and you walked onto the field? It was truly a blessing, and it was so loud. And I was like, "Don't fumble the ball! Don't fall! Don't oh, fall!" Were you? <laughs> yeah, it's a moment that only players get to feel. Yeah. right? Like you got to feel yeah. that moment. What's Do you wrong? think it's gonna be harder to beat me or beat her? In the yeah. Sense? Who who looks tougher? She looks like spicy. She looks right. spicy. Okay, she looks good. I like it. All right, man. You think these guys can keep up with me? Go. One down, one to go. Go. <laughs> Easy money. Good to see you, sir. Thanks, you too. Well done. Good Thanks good so much. Thank you. Me too. Thank you. All right, quick break. Here we come back. Yeah, that one was probably one of the more fun interviews I've done so far. I think that's seven in the books, right? Seven in the books. That's seven in the books. Y'all remember my guy Darrell? Well, he called me up to go train with some college football guys at the beach. I'm getting close to high school, so I gotta train harder than ever. When we come to the beach, it's, it's usually a lot of um, work capacity and movement work, and it's a little more competition and fun when we come to the beach. So you wanna go ick yourself, boom, boom, stick, get vertical. All right, quick, 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 pop. Use your arms, fast feet. Get out of there, get vertical. 
Good. This is the kind of training I need. Let's go, pop, 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 get out. Go, go, go. Let's go, bunch. Push, 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 get vertical, nice. Stay low, use your hips, use your feet. Man, this sand is tough. Break down, get around, pop. Hey man, Bunchy killed all y'all. Pop, get up, get up, get up. Pop, 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 go, go. That was your best rep. Last one, so get in and out. Good, get in and out. Man, I love working out with Darrell. These are the little details that helped me out in high school. All right, here we go. So we're gonna finish this off. We're gonna put all of our movements into a game called Ultimate Football. Here's how the games work. You can pass the ball to your teammates. If you get touched, you have to come to a complete stop and throw the ball to your teammates. Oh, that's right. All right, you can do long passes, short passes, it doesn't matter. But if the ball hits the ground, other team can grab it as fast as they need to and score. But I never played ultimate football before. First team to three touchdowns wins. You think your boy can hang with the big dogs? I got the ball first, time to turn up. First on the board, this is gonna be an easy dub. He got lucky on that one. I'm gonna get him back, don't worry. Oh yeah, bunch. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay, maybe it won't be that easy. Get him! Hey, this ain't that commercial. This ain't that commercial. Go here. Now that's what we do. Damn, you guys think I should switch to QB? Hey, man, you could throw a bunch. <laughs> oh. Hey, Darrell, remember I played defense too. Better catch it. Okay, man, 2-2, two, two. game point. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's a point game and we're gonna score right now. I'm a decoy. Go get him. Decoy. How you like that, bud? Ball. Game. Why wouldn't we double team you? That's cheap, because y'all know y'all can't stop me. All right, you remember Devin Hester? One year he had like eight punt returns. What did they do? They kicked it out of bounds. Take him out of the game. It's only smart. But you, you did your thing. Good job, man. You, can I get my race now or what? You guys might not remember, Darrell challenged me to a race. Looks like the time has come. So we race into the race into the first trash can. Ooh, was it tied? Was it close? Man, the camera don't lie. Bunchy by hair. I was coming though. You got me this time. Next time, I'm going to be fresh. Man, my guy just lost, and he still thinks he can beat me. Man, good work today, man. How you feel? What you good, think? Good. Coming fun. out here with some, some pros, some high school, college guys. The biggest thing is, is being super, super relaxed and have fun. Good job, bro. But the last couple of months, I barely played at all. But it felt so good being out there running the ball again. Hey, man, you ready for this workout today, man? Yep, what we doing? Man, I told you we're hitting the ground running. Time for another workout. I got something a little bit different out of the box, out of the ordinary. Man, what is he talking about? Meet Jenna. Hey, how are Hi, you? Hi, I'm Jenna. Have you ever done yoga in your life? Uh, no. Yoga? I thought I was going to be running sprints. Man, it's going to be a breeze. So I don't want you to think you're not going to sweat today. Okay. You're just going to be sweating in a different sort of way. Okay. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yep. Man, I'm going to get my Zen on. So actually where you are right now is perfect. We're okay. going to start in a seated cross leg position. So go ahead, sit on the ground nice and low like this. Why are your posture so much better than ours? Because I do yoga. I see. You got tight hips. I do. Oh, we're going to stretch it all out. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> there might be some regret. Oh God. How hard could it be? Kick that leg out forward. Good, look at that. Whoa. And bring it out to the side. Okay, I was wrong. This is getting intense. I told you I was gonna make you sweat today. You thought I was kidding, huh? Man, I did not think I would be sweating this much. So what I want you to do, good, that. See how tight this is? This is why this stuff is important. Man, am I supposed to bend like this? Okay. Ugh. 
There, nice. That's fantastic. Good night, nice, man. Good night. Nice. Really nice. good stuff. Good stuff. Sure. Man, y'all know I work out like every day. Man, this yoga stuff makes me feel like I've never been to a gym before. Go ahead, relax everything. Oh, good. Good, reward yourself. I feel yourself so good. For putting yourself through this practice today. Oh my goodness. Challenging your body in so many ways that you wouldn't on a day-to-day -day basis. Man, I might have underestimated yoga. Just because you're not sprinting or lifting doesn't mean it's not hard. How do you feel now? I didn't think it was going to be a breeze, but I thought it was just going to be like, oh, yoga is stretching. People underrate yoga. And like, like this was this was like crazy. I never knew this was, yoga was like this. Well, you guys both did an amazing job. You allowed me to adjust all of your positions. Yes. You stuck with it. Yes. You judge yourself, which is the most important thing. So good stuff, guys. Thank you. Nice. Miss Jenna. Really good stuff. Thanks for being a part of today. Yes. You're welcome. You are the lady. Thank you. You are the lady. <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy. Man, I love coming out here, man. It's just like a breath of fresh air, man. Just yeah. breathe a little bit, you know what I mean? I think I see the OT office. <laughs> man, it's been a crazy year, man. Yeah. I mean, what you think the goal for next year gonna be? You know, I switched the positions is from running back to, to slot and receiver. And that's gonna be that's gonna be crazy. But you know what, dude? I mean, you, you really wasn't a running back. Yeah. It's just the fact about we didn't have no quarterback that can throw you the ball. Mm -hmm. They just got to get you in space. That's it. Yeah. You got a couple of leads on some new teams. Yeah, I got. I mean, people been hitting me up and everything. We just gotta really just just take a look at it and see what fits us best. You know, from the Super Bowl thing, that I'm gonna be way more targeted than I was last time. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know what I'm saying. You're fast, so they gotta catch you first, right? Yep. They've been talking to you all the time anyway, you know what I'm saying, since you was a little kid. So now the Super Bowl hit and everything, and true enough, you know, more people gonna know you, but they knew you before. This didn't happen all your life in football. I'm so excited for next year, I can't wait. It's gonna be, it's gonna be real live. It's, it's gonna, gonna be live, ain't it? Yeah. All right, well, y'all stay, stay tuned. tuned. Yo, click on this video to get drippy. You know that. And check out the rest of the videos right here because they fire. And subscribe right here too. You see that? Yeah, right, right here. Right, a little right there. Thank you.